What's up guys, my name is Eric. I recently purchased this Model X100D and with the car I got the, the standard 20 inch wheels and just right now I went ahead and picked these new 22 inch wheels up, the turbine optional ones. So I'm gonna be swapping it over to these new ones and in order to install these, it's it's not as simple as uh, changing a wheel on like a traditional vehicle. It's a little bit different, so I'm gonna run through all that with you guys. I had to buy some extra tools, so I'll go ahead and uh, I'm explain to you as well. So let's get started. Before you jack your car up, make sure to go to your suspension setting and change your ride height to jack. And now we'll prepare your car to be lifted with a jack and for you to change out your wheels. Another side note is, as you can tell, the two front wheels are actually thinner than the two rear wheels. The tires are also thinner as well. So the rear of the car, the tire size, is going to be 285, 35, 22. Whereas the front size is going to be 265, 35, 22. The tools you're gonna to need to switch out the wheels on your Model X is going to be a breaker bar to loosen your lug nuts and also this little lug nut cap removal tool and a torque wrench capable of torquing up to 129 foot pounds and also a socket um, 13 by 6, 13 16 of an inch size impact socket. All these products you could purchase on Amazon. I'll include a link in the comment section. And as a side note, the Model X torque spec is 129 foot-pounds and the socket size is 13 by 16th of an inch. Wait a minute, where the heck's the jack point? What the heck? As we were about to lift the car up, we found out that there was no jack point, just like a standard vehicle. So. We did some research online. I found that they need a special tool, the one that I'm holding over here, to be able to jack the car up without damaging the frame of the vehicle. So let's continue on. And this fits perfectly into these three holes down here. And once you fit it in here, it fits flush against the frame of the vehicle. So you leave this on here. You grab your jack and you simply just jack it up from the bottom. So, let me grab my jack. Okay, okay and before the wheel is completely off the ground, let's loosen up the lug nuts. Using the special tool I got on Amazon, we're going to pull out the lug nut covers off these. Just like that. And we're going to do this for all of them. And once you have all the lug nut covers off, we're gonna grab our breaker bar with our 13th by 16th inch socket and we're gonna loosen up all the lug nuts. And also, as you can see, it's good practice to loosen the wheel in a opposite star motion. So we're gonna do this, 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 and then that, in that order. So we just loosened all the five lug nuts. Uh, we didn't remove the nuts yet, just loosened it so that we could jack the car up and then we're going to remove all the nuts after that. So we'll do that right now. Okay, so we're having a little difficulty pulling the lug nut off the socket, it keeps getting stuck. So we're gonna use a, just a, any simple tool just to push it off from the inside. You might not run into this issue. Um, but for some reason, we are today. As you remove this, just put it aside in a safe area and we're gonna pick out one of the front wheels to install. So just remember, there's both front and rear wheel size, which are different. Make sure you pick the right front wheel size. All right, so this wheel is much heavier than the other one. So what I do is I just like to lay down, use my legs as leverage and line it up to the lug nut studs, line it up to the studs and then just go
go at it. So we'll do that now. All right, there we go. And we're gonna grab the nuts and then we're gonna tighten it right now. While you're tightening the nuts back on, you might have to nudge and, and move the wheel around just to make sure you get that good fitment. Oh my <laughs> gosh! Look at all this. Once you have the nuts all back on, we didn't torque it yet, but just tight enough. We're gonna lower the car, and then we're gonna use a torque wrench to get it at exactly 129 foot pounds. You get a torque wrench such as this one, also purchased on Amazon. This torque's up to 150 foot pounds. Uh, we just need to set it to 129. And once you have it set, Let's torque them. I would have got a socket that is deeper so that I don't have a problem with it risking hitting the, the spoke. So for you viewers out there, get one that's longer than the standard size or an extension, which I don't have right now. All right guys, we just finished installing it. We torqued all the nuts in it's ready to go the only thing we're missing are those black caps they were out of stock when i went over there so they're gonna call me up and let me know when it's there i'm gonna go pick it up and just pop it back in into those lug nut covers another thing i might have to do is i might have to recalibrate my tpms uh, i'm not sure how that's gonna work yet i have to go on the drive uh, it's probably gonna be self-explanatory if there's anything complicated about it i'll make sure to make a video on it. Uh, well, that's it, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want more of these content, give me a like below, give me a comment, and motivate me to make more videos. Thanks again, and have a good one.